Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today I wanna to talk about the possible future of Quixel Bridge and how it can change the game for 3D asset creation forever. Hello, and if you're new to the channel, welcome, and don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment down below. If you wanna learn more about visual effects and how to create lots of cool 3D stuff and compositing, I'll leave some links down below. Now, let's talk about Quixel Bridge. So what is Quixel Bridge? Quixel Bridge is a plugin and a software that you download from Quixel, the people that make Megascans, uh, Mixer, and many other awesome tools. They're partnered with Epic Games, so they you'll see it used a lot in Unreal Engine. But Quixel Bridge is basically a huge library of photo scanned 3D assets, surfaces, decals, all these things to help you quickly create stunning landscapes, environments, and they have always produced such great quality and awesome stuff. And it made me start to think, where could they go? What could be the next step? So I use Quixel Bridge almost in every single project that I use. Somehow I'm either using their materials or 3D assets. They're so, they're just great. They're high quality and it saves me a ton of time. So I don't have to go make them myself. And they've they spent the time to build it. And the reason why I love Quixel Megascans and Quixel Bridge is it's just easy. And they have a plugin that goes with Houdini, Blender, um, Cinema 4D, Maya, 3ds Max. It's so easy to just to import these assets. They just make it seamless. And when you import them, they come in with the material all set up for you. It's just seamless. So I thought, why haven't they moved, and maybe they will, into allowing people to create their own assets so that they are hosted on the Quixel Bridge library, your, maybe your own local library that you create your own 3D assets. So for example, if I create a building and I spent a long time setting up these materials and everything, wouldn't it be great if I could just have that always on my Quixel library? So anytime I need to use an asset that I created, I could just go over and hit export and all it would be doing is tapping into where it's already saved and it would just be bringing it over into my project. And I'm like, they could be building all of these assets, their whole community could be building assets. So then I thought, okay, if we're building a bunch of assets, if I create my own assets, why can't I share them? So that got me to thinking, wouldn't it be rad if Quixel changed the game as far as like asset creation and usage? So if there's things like Kitbash and Kitbash says, hey, go download our bridge library. So everyone's able to share their essentially their bridge libraries, and they were filled with um, things that they created. So you could download Kitbash's library, and you could download, um, I don't even know, Polygons, or whoever has a huge library of assets, surfaces, anything. And basically everything's going through Quixel Bridge, and you're, that way you're ensuring that the file structures are set up properly. Um, basically it would, it would process all that for you. you would upload it onto the bridge and it would create the whole file path and it would create you know the way that it's linked to all the materials and everything if you could do everything through quixel bridge and just saving your assets um, this is just another time saver everything i'm thinking of right now is to save time and i feel like in 3d and visual effects you do a lot of repetitive things you're constantly like doing there's a lot of repetition as far as process and this would just be one more thing that would just save time i don't have to create a new material and relink everything and hunt down files i just know it's all in the bridge and it's just stored there um which brings me to why not have vdb files so if you don't know what a vdb file is it's it's basically a bunch of voxels teeny little squares that are packed together to create like clouds, smoke, fire. And maybe they can't do VDB sequences, which is where it's a bunch of those files. So it's like a play, so that it's like a, an expl animated explosion, but things like clouds and atmospherics, I'm like, they could start going down that, that road as well. It's just been like, hey, here's a huge pack of VDB clouds that you can use in your projects. Um, we have some that are higher dense, like voxels and there's some that are lower dense that you can use in the background or further away and these th this could just become a huge library of commute not just quixels but also the community made 
assets that you could just pass back and forth. I'm curious if what you guys think of this, it's something I've been really just thinking about a lot lately and making things easier. I mean, I would hope that even we could go beyond just even that. It's here is, I mean, they're doing it basically with the uh, meta scans or whatever is, is have fully rigged characters. Let's say you're in Maya, you fully rigged this character. Um, you export it out as a FBX or an Alembic, um, probably an FBX so it can retain all the bones and everything. And then you say, hey, this thing's fully textured. It has all the rig built into it. Obviously there's some specialty rig things you wouldn't be able to bring over, but the base skeleton with it rigged with the weight map, you could bring that over in an FBX and have that live on bridge and then share that and say, like, hey, here's a bunch of like rigged characters. And then it's like, maybe they'll start hosting like sequences, like, like I said, animated sequences in the future beyond that, where it's like, here is a bunch of mocap data that the community has created. You know, like everyone has Rococo suits or the census suits. And it's like, why can't we, uh, you know, have a place where we're hosting and keeping all of our assets. So I open bridge and I'm just dragging in things that I've already created. I just think having that would just be a huge game changer. Um, I would even, let's just keep going. Why not have a bunch of stock images, not just the 3D stock. Let's, let's have a whole section of landscapes for map paintings and you drag them in your project and they're, they're already attached to a card, a 3D card and, or a, a dome and you just choose before you export. I feel like Bridge has this potential because they've set themselves up to be such a convenient tool within all the 3D platforms and it's just so fast. I personally use it in Clarice and it's just, it's, it's a game changer. It, I can bring in the high poly stuff and like that I have, I can create a landscape, you know, under 30 minutes um, with, the, with the assets. It's amazing. Like this could be the next step in having cross platforms people work together. I've seen some amazing, like in every software, I see amazing stuff made. People in Blender create incredible stuff, like amazing stuff, amazing assets. And I'm like, man, that'd be rad if they were just like, hey, I'm gonna export this and put this on bridge. And then you could be like, hey, can I get that asset? And they're like, yeah, here you go. And you could just download it. Anyway, these are just my thoughts. Um, what do you guys think? And do you think that bridge should grow beyond that it, besides their go beyond photo scanned um, elements and decals? Should they expand their library? Should we be able to upload our own libraries and share them with others? Where do you see a problem? Um, I'm curious what you guys think. Leave comments down below and um, also share this video with Quixel. Maybe they'll watch it and they'll get an idea. Um, that one's for free. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm curious what you guys all think. Um, and I'd love to hear because we have such awesome community of artists out there and there's so much talent. So anyway, let me know what you guys think and if, let me know if you enjoyed this type of video as well. Uh, I think I'm gonna start talking a lot more about the technology and about things that are happening in VFX, the software, where I think it should go. I'm just gonna share my, ram, my, my thoughts like this and um, let me know if you enjoy that. Anyway, have a good day and we'll talk to you later.